Let's talk about gossip and slander. Gossip is juicy. You know, talking about other people behind their back in a negative manner. Then there is spreading false information about others. Both demean a person in the eyes of other people. Sitting in a group and talking about other people is what we excel in. We say, did you hear what they said? What about what they did? Can you believe it? They are such pretenders. Gossip spreads like wildfire. It brings out clearly the nature of human beings. But what exactly do we usually want to achieve when we paint another person in bad light? If we are not expressing our concerns constructively and to the right people, what exactly is our agenda? Or does gossip and slander time give us an opportunity to bring out the treasures of our heart? Out of the treasures of the heart, the mouth speaks. Does that mean we think negative thoughts about other people? Do we do it to feed our egos? Do we do it because we feel inadequate and empty inside and in an attempt to fill up void, we bring others down? Do we gossip and slander because we are jealous, full of hate and spite? Do we do it because deep inside we are hurting? What exactly is our motive? The Bible says, if you have something against your brother and sister, you go to them first. And if they listen, you have won them over. In case they do not listen, then you go through the right channel. There is strength in not telling anyone and everyone about someone else's mistakes or shortcomings. Love covers. Love does not go exposing. We ruin other people's lives. We go talking about their mistakes, their weaknesses, what they did or should not have done, what they said or should not have said, how they dress, the places they go to, the people they associate with, their families, their jobs, the list is endless. But the surprising thing is, the person being talked about will most likely be the last to hear. Everyone else will have known by the time someone volunteers to inform the person concerned about what is being said. Then, when such a person walks down the street, they will be getting all sorts of weird stares from other people. Some will be whispering to one another, others will be laughing. Love has grown cold. People have become brutal with no or minimal humanity. We tear each other down, then laugh about it. We hear about that person who attempted or committed suicide because of other, other people's actions, but we still go on. After all, it does not affect us or those close to us. That is what we say to ourselves. We gain pleasure in seeing others go down. We do or say anything with no regard to how our actions and words affect other people. As long as we consider ourselves to be on the safe side of the fence, we have no other care in the world. The Bible tells us that we should not let any unwholesome talk out of our mouth, but only let out what is helpful for building others up. It goes on to say that we should not spread false reports. We cannot claim to love God yet go gossiping and slandering. We have let ourselves lose. We do not weigh our words. We are told in the Bible that those who consider themselves religious 
yet do not keep a tight rein on their on their tongues, deceive themselves, and their religion is wordless. Going to church does not save us. We may go to church all our, all our lives and yet end up in hell. We are told that whoever conceals hatred with lying lips and spread slander is a fool. We should never do anything that endangers another person's life in any way. With their mouth, the godless endanger their neighbor. Gossip betrays confidence. It stirs up conflict. It separates friends. The prudent hold their tongue. Words of a gossip go to the inmost part. The tongue has power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. We should ask God to help us set a guard over our mouth. Gossip and slander, like any other sin, destroy. Nothing good ever comes out of sin. If we have to undo each other, let it be in doing good. Be blessed.